Hey guys, it's Corey, and I'm here with a haul for you. Um, the little shopping, not too much. Um, so it's going to be a haul from um, Barnes & Noble, Bath & Body Works, Forever 21, and Buckle. So we're with Barnes & Noble first. I got this book right here. It's called A Stolen Life, a memoir by J.C. Dugard. I don't know if you guys heard about um, her story. Um, back in 1991, she was 11, and she got uh, abducted by... Um, a well a registered sex offender and his wife and she was trapped with him for um, 18 years in August 26 2009 she was finally released and um, to her back to her family and during that time she ended up having two children with the man and living in the backyard in a tent and shelter and things like that so it sounded really interesting I know the story um, I also watched um, she was on Dateline with uh, Diane Sawyer talking about her book and her story, and it was really, really interesting to me, so I had to get that. Next, I went to Buckle. And in Buckle, I got this really cute um, vintage brown purse. Super cute. And it has like, a long strap to like a crossbody look to it. Um, it has like faux zippers here and like an old west type of like closure right here. They're magnetic. And I got this because I know like here I go, we go to a lot of festivals and things like that. And the purse that I have, I carry my things in because I don't want a big purse. But when I have a purse like on me, like crossbody, and I had one, but well, I have one, it's about this big can't fit very much into it but this I think it's perfect size not too big not too small so I like that um, I also went to Forever 21 well actually it was it was this um, subsidiary of Forever 21 so it's um, called for love 21 it's like here I don't know if everyone has that I'm pretty sure they do I don't know whatever um, but it's just all their accessories accessories only so, I got a few things. I got these really pretty hot pink feather earrings. Um, another feather on here, like a, almost like a peacock, but it's like a spotted feather. It's little beads on it. These are really, really cute. And these were $3.80. Um, I'm really into like bib necklaces right now. Like multi-layered necklaces and bib necklaces, um, so I got a couple of those. I have this one right here. It's a golden turquoise. Some flowers and butterflies and some rhinestones in there. A smaller bib style. Really cute. I love the turquoise. I love. The, I think this this flower I love the best because it's like really big, but it's not like really centered. It's off centered kind of looking or well it's, it's centered but it's off balance because we have two big pieces here but then on the side it's two smaller flowers um, and this was 680 I have this really cute pair of little um, heart earrings with like a doily lace not lace but it's like a doily pattern around the outside of it these were super cute just to throw on with anything and these were 380 I got this necklace here. It's a multi strand necklace. One, two, three, four, five strands here. And these are like really weird, like not beading, and not like shell. I can't even describe it. It's not too loud and clanky. Um, it's like a bronzy, tarnished look type of metal. Really cute. And this was $10.80. I got this really cute bangle here, gold detailing, and it's um, leopard print, and it has like some green within the leopard print, but it's like a white background, but it has like a little bit of green in there. Super cute bangle, just to be able to, especially because of the colors too, sorry, because the colors you can pretty much throw it on with whatever you'd like. Um, and this 
was $5.80. And the thing that I love the most, it is heavy, yet I love it very much. It's this big bib necklace. It is freaking honkin'. It's gold, it has some of that gold mesh in here. Um, it's like some birds and flowers and things like that. It is gorgeous. I love stuff like this. And this was $8.80. Super cute. And it does have some weight to it. Nice weight. Not too heavy, but it does. It is has some nice weight to it. i to put it away because it's, it's one of those things I have to do later. Okay, moving on. The last place I went was a little bath and body works. Now if you guys seen my videos before, you guys know like how much I love bath and body works, how I obsess and every time I go there I can find at least one thing that I want. Either I already have that or I don't have it but I wanted it. I mean I go in there I find something. That's just how it goes. The first thing I got was this um lose it first. This really cute leopard print and hot pink um, makeup bag, travel carry bag. It's huge. I have it stuffed right now with the paper that's still in it. Um, but it's from their pink, Victoria's Secret pink. But you know, like at Bath & Body Works, that they do sell Victoria's Secret products there because Bath & Body Works is owned by Victoria's Secret, so that's why they sell it there. But this is really cute. I saw this and I'm like, oh my god, I love it. And I'm not really even a big, the biggest fan of zebra print at all. I like it, but I'm not like, ah, oh, you know, I need it. But I thought this was really cute. The zipper print and then the hot pink on it. And on the zipper pull, it's like flowers, which matches matches their um, um, body splash and lotion they have called um, Fresh and Fierce, I believe it is. And the bottle is zebra print, and it has, but it does have like some of these flowers on there. And I actually have that set. So, paper out. And here's the inside. Hot pink. Nice and roomy. This thing is like, oh, so much room in here. I mean, you can really fit like full size products in here besides your makeup. Um, it also has like a, a front pocket as well. And this was um, only $10 for this. This was, I thought it was like a steal because it, I mean, $10. And I put the paper back in if they have not completely like. I don't know, anytime I go shopping, it takes me a few days before I actually unpack the stuff and put it where it needs to be, so it usually sits, like, in the bag, the way I bought it, for a few days, till I figure out what I'm, where I'm going to put it. I was speaking of Victoria's Secret Pink, here is the buy splash I was telling you about, and it is fresh and fierce. Um, there's, a, like, that flower detailing on the zipper pulls right there in the back, and then on the back side of it, it's the zipper print. I have the lotion already. For this and it's really good it's something that I would have never actually gotten because the things that I have the other Victoria's Secret scents that I have are either like the tropical or um, like a powdery baby powder smell this is completely different and I like that it's like a more of a floral scent to it which is not really my cup of tea so it's very weird that I like this very weird completely but I do um, they still had a couple of 75% off things, which is basically the orange sapphire scent. And the Bath & Body Works I went to, all they had was just the body splash. So I got that. Because I don't, I realized, which I'm glad I got this, because I realized that all I had was just the travel size body splash of this. So now I have the bigger size. They also still had, um, for 50% off, the, all the coconut, all the mango, coconut, um, products they came out with this summer. The coconut passion fruit, mango, and pineapple, and I already have the coconut, um, mango, and passion fruit, and I'm like, what the hey, it's 50% off, it might not be coming back anytime soon, so I picked up the set, and if you watched my last Bath & Body Works video, you know that I am a set girl, I have to have it, um, 
but this is the by Splash, the lotion, and the shower gel. So I'm very excited to to wear this. It does have such a oh my gosh! Did you see that? <laughs> I opened up and lotion went flying. And the thing is, I don't know exactly where it flew to. Well, I'll find it eventually, I guess. But it smells so good. It smells just completely like. Hawaiian Tropics suntan oil and I relate everything back to that because when I was a kid my mom used to like put use this Hawaiian Tropics suntan oil and I use it sometimes too but I, just lo I didn't use it for tanning I just loved the way it smelled oh gosh. you have no good idea how good that smells and I also got their um, the new collection, the Peach Citrus Body Lotion and Shower Mist, I mean Body Splash. Um, no, boo, I didn't get the shower gel. I really don't know why I didn't just pick it up. I don't know, but whatever. So there is that. And that I left, I tried to smell the other ones, the pomegranate and the apple blossom, but this was like by far my favorite. And I like the smell of pomegranate. I love pomegranate. I buy pomegranate drinks and things like that, but for some reason, and I'm not really, I don't really like peach. I don't like peach drinks. I don't like the pe. I don't like peaches, but I, love, but I love the smell of peaches. So I had to get that. And lastly, I got um, a hand sanitizer. And seriously, it smells like star fruit. It smells really, really, really good. Very, very, not too fruity, just the right amount of fruit. Um, oh, it's, it's enriched with Tahitian palm milk. New, mm. awesome. But it was really bad because I didn't see one of the ones they had it was mint chocolate. I saw like the hand soap they had for it, but I didn't want the hand soap, uh, you know, whatever. So I didn't know they had a hand sanitizer until my seven year old, she got it. And I found out she got it once we got home. I'm like, oh, they had the mint chocolate chip one? I tried to trade with her for mine. No luck. She was like, nope. Too bad, so sad. So just my luck. That's how it works, I guess. Um, but that is my haul. I hope you enjoy it. Let me know what you think about this lighting. I'm not sure. I don't know. Yeah. Okay, that's I guess that, that wraps it up. Um, have a good day, everyone. And yeah, talk to you later, guys. Bye.